Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at section 3.1 uh, First question, find the domain and the range So given the function is a um, quadratic function And the domain fx equals x minus 3 squared minus 4 There is no square root, no denominator And then we can see the domain for x direction, horizontal direction Is negative infinity to positive infinity Second the range. The lowest point is negative 4. So it's negative 4 to up. There's no boundary for the up. So it's negative 4 to positive infinity. Okay. So let me say if we can. Negative infinity to positive infinity. Wait. Go to here. Let me check this one. Okay. And then this is um, four negative four comma with comma plus infinity. And then, you also ask you, number three, the vertex. Vertex is the lowest point. Okay. Vertex is the minimum point, lowest point. Vertex is, you can see from the picture, is one, two, three, three, negative four. Okay, it's a coordinate. Give it the coordinates of the vertex. Okay, let's see if it has more. Just that, negative three. Negative four. Okay. And the uh, axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is you see this the total graph is symmetric with the x equals three. Okay, so the axis of symmetry is x equals three. So type in three. Okay. And then it asks you y intercept. Next is y intercept. Y intercept is x equals zero. X equals zero give y intercept. Okay. So if you plug x equals zero, y equals zero minus three square minus four, which is nine minus four is five. So you can type in five. Okay. And the x intercept. X intercept from the picture can tell when um, when x y equals zero y equals zero x equals one and a positive five so you put a one and a five one and a five okay so now we finish the first question um, the second question y equals x squared so y equals x squared Graphing the following function, graph that so you can choose the this one and go into here and wait. Uh, y equals x squared, so x equals one one, so it's one one. No, mm, let me do it again. So click the parabola zero and the one and the up. Okay, so you do 0, 0, and you pass 1, 1, and you pass negative 1, 1. So then, you have the parabola, and check the answer, wait. Graph A, B, C, or you have to do more. Um, you need to do, again, graph A, B, C, Y equals 4X squared, so 1, 1 times is 4, and then negative 1, 4 again. Now also, mm, oh, so you have to graph y equals 4x squared, y equals negative 1, 4, sorry, 1 fourth x squared, graph all of them. Okay, so graph 0, 0, and graph 0, 0, and 1, 4, negative 1, 4. And also, 
the third one is another zero zero and uh, x equals two y equals one so two one negative two one okay at least one of the graph is incorrect we have no graph all three required functions remember graph all three functions have the same coordinate system graph equation by point flow to find intercept then as many additional order points are needed okay so I think that's how you graph it okay so um you can graph that again if it's not right it should be it should not be very hard okay 4x square x square x square 4x so one fourth x square so how does the coefficient um a of x square affect the shape of the graph the great alpha is the wide the parabola is the smaller alpha is the narrow is the parabola is okay the great alpha is the great a is then for small x you have big y value is narrow okay so this one for one for x equals y it goes to four so it's going to be narrower than uh traditional y equals x square okay and if it's one fourth then for x equals one it goes here so it's going to be log like more than like bigger okay so the grid a is the narrow it b all right so next one again all right so given graph the function um let me write down the function first y equals negative one half x plus four square minus one so first is a parabola uh vertex is negative four negative one okay negative four negative four negative one okay this is a positive one my bad so it's going to be negative four negative one okay so now we also need to find out the intercept when x equals zero when x equals zero plug in so y equals negative half times four square minus one which is y equals negative half times 16 minus one which is negative nine so x equals zero y equals negative nine which is this one and save and check the answer okay so x is over x equals the symmetry symmetry is negative four because you say x equals negative four negative one okay so domain is negative infinity to positive infinity domain is negative infinity to positive infinity okay the range is from negative infinity the up the maximum point is negative one this is the domain this is range okay the interval of domain which the function is increasing so it's from negative infinity to negative four is increasing Okay, and uh, from the decreasing is from negative four to positive infinity. It's decreasing. Okay, it might uh, use the brackets on both. Okay, even print is the brackets. You can check it which one is is working. Okay, All right, so next one, but um, mathematically either one is okay. Parentheses, brackets, either one is okay. Okay, for the interval increasing or decreasing interval. Um, next one, y equals negative half of x squared minus 5x minus 19 over 2. For this one, we have to convert that into a form of ax plus h squared minus plus k. You have to need this form. So first we need to convert, we need to uh, complete the square. So factor negative 1 out, negative half out, so x squared plus 10x okay for this one if you factor negative half out so negative half x square negative half times positive 10 give you negative 5 and you add some number here minus negative 2 of 19 and then what number you add here you add the middle number divide by 2 then square so which is 5 square which is 25 and since you subtract one half times negative 25, 25 
then you have to add the same number to cancel it out, not changing the whole function values. And then you have y equals negative half of x plus 5 squared minus plus. Combine this to plus 6 over 2, which is positive 3. So now I have the form of the um, vertex, symmetry vertex f formula. We have this form. So now you can click vertex is negative 5, negative, negative 5, positive 3, negative 5, positive 3 right here. So go negative 5, 1, 2, 3. And then when x equals 0, you have negative point. So um, then I have to choose a number which give you a, a positive uh, odd number. So let's just do x equals. You can do x equals zero because it give you half point. If x equals zero, plug in, you're gonna have y equals negative half times twenty five plus three, which y is negative twenty five over two plus three, and is negative nineteen over two. Okay. So this one is hard to graph for half. 1. So I probably I'll do x equals 1. x equals 1, plug in, you got y equals negative half times 1 plus 5 th 6 squared 36 plus 3, which is 18 plus negative 18 plus 3, which is negative 15. So go here from here, negative 12, 13, 14, 15, and um, 1. Okay. Right. So then the symmetry, axis of the symmetry is negative five, negative five, three. The vertex is negative five of this uh, three. So the x equals negative five is a, sim uh, a symmetry. So it's negative five. The domain, the highest point is three. So it's negative infinity to positive three. That's the no domain. You don't have any restrictions. So negative infinity to positive infinity. The same thing as the previous one. Okay, so negative infinity, positive infinity. It doesn't kill there, so it's positive infinity. Okay, and the range is negative infinity to positive five. Let me see. Um, negative. I, uh, it's hard to type in, so I just tell you the answer here. Okay, so it's negative infinity to positive five. Okay, this is the range. Okay, and then the inter in interval of the domain infinity to five. You know the answer is this one. I just keep going. I want to tell you the next one. I want to check. Oh, to wait to positive three. Yeah, positive three. Because the maximum point is three, right to five. Right, so the interval of domain function is increasing, so it's from negative infinity to the negative five. I want to know if it contains the negative one or not negative. It might. So negative infinity to negative five. Okay, so it's increasing. I think uh, the last one you have to use the, the thing. You, I think you probably have to use the brackets. Okay, so it turns out you have to use the brackets contain this point. Okay, the other decreasing is negative five to positive infinity. Then it's the same. All right. So next one. Um, if A is positive, A is positive, it's open upward. And the uh, determinant B equal B square minus 4AC positive, you have two real roots. So you have two intersection points. Okay, two real roots means two intersection points going to be this one. Next one. And uh, from here, you tell the um, function the vertex is negative 4 and a positive 4. So the k is 4 because the maximum point is 4. Okay. Then 
This one is x plus 4. Whenever it, it gives you 0. Okay, so x plus 4 equals 0, then it's 4. Now, what's the coefficient? What's the coefficient? You got x plus 4 equals 0. You got x equals negative 4. Because this is negative 4, so the h is positive 4. And this is your maximum y value, so it's 4. Okay. Now, what is the coefficient? Now, it give you negative 8 and the 0. What you need to do, you plug negative 8 in. So it's going to be a times negative 8 plus 4 squared plus 4 equals 0, which give you a times negative 4 squared plus 4 equals 0. And uh, you get you got 16 a squared equals negative 4. And then you solve a, not a squared, 16 4 a equals negative 1 fourth. So it is negative 1 divided by 4. Okay. Uh, for two numbers whose sum x plus y equals 26, and whose product's maximum, whose product is maximum possible value x, y, x is the um, maximum number. What two numbers yield this product? Okay, so it's a 13, 13. All right, so 13. They're equal, when they're, whenever they're equal, they give you uh, 13. Where is another one? Okay. So basically, what you need to do, you find x equals 26 minus y. Plug into here. Well, 20, y equals 26 minus x. y equals 26 minus x. The product is fx equals x times y, which is x times 26 minus x. The function is um, negative x squared plus 26x. Well, the maximum minimum point, the vertex point is negative b over 2a and the 4ac minus b squared over 2a. Okay, that's your maximum, that's your vertex. So whenever x equals negative b over 2a, it gives you maximum value, which is negative 26 over 2 times negative 1, which is 13. That's how you got 13 in the previous one, okay? All right, so next one. The campus of college has planned to construct a rectangle parking lot on the board on the one side by a highway. And there are 680 feet fencing available to fence the other three uh, sides. Net x represent. So net x represent this. This is x. This is um, 680 minus x. And I've expressed the length of remaining to be fence. Express the length of the remaining side. So it's 680 minus 2x, right? Okay. 680 minus 2x. Alright, so next one, the value x should be, since 680 minus 2x has to be less than, uh, has to be bigger than 0. Has to be bigger than 0. So x has to be bigger than 3, 4, wait. X has to be less than 340. Otherwise, you don't have any third size. X, X has to be bigger than 0 because it cannot have a negative side, right? So 0 and uh, 340. Okay. So number 3. It's slow. Number three, determine a function a that represents the area. So the area s equals x times 680 minus 2x. So the s, so the s equals 680x minus 2x squared. So this equals negative 2x squared plus 680x as the area. Okay, and. Uh, Number four, D. It says determine the value of x that given the area between two twenty thousand and fifty thousand feet squ square feet. Okay, so basically ask yourself two x squared. Determine the x value given the area between. All right, so two x squared plus six hundred eighty x. Okay, less than fifty thousand, bigger than twenty thousand. In what dimensions? 
in number E, what dimensions that ma give a maximum area? So, give a maximum area, it give you uh, x equals negative b over 2a, plug in, negative b is negative 680, 2 times negative 2, which is 6480 divided by 4, and they would um, cancel that as 1. 470. So 170 is your height, is your uh, width. So you have this is 170, 170, 340. Okay, that's going to be your dimension. Okay, so the area of the parking lot, you multiply this to actually finish the whole thing here. Okay, so you just uh, this is the E. Okay. Alright, so. Next one. Number nine. Between 19, 1989 and 1998, the population of small town US in thousand models is fx equals negative 14x squared minus 1.4x. Let me just do this a little bit. Negative 4x plus 8.5. Okay. So where well, x represents the uh, 1989, based on this model, was population which is minimum. Okay, so x equals negative b of 2a. It goes to the um, minimum. There's no negative here. So equals negative negative 1.4 over 2 times 1 point, 0 0.14. So it's five years. Okay, five years later when x equals five. So eighty-nine is zero, ninety is one, ninety-one is two, ninety-two is three, you got four is ninety-three, and ninety-four is five. The fifth year is nineteen ninety-four. Okay. Alright, so next question. Uh, determine the function having x intercept. Determine the quadratic function. So quadratic function is ax plus h squared plus k. Y intercept is k. So seven. Uh, x intercept is three and seven. So you got one is x minus. Wait. Uh, so x intercept is three and seven. So x minus three. X plus seven. So x minus 7 means your x intercept equals 0. And you also have a a like this. Okay. Now y equals 7. So let's see. And y intercept x equals 0 give y intercept. Let's plug in a times x squared minus 10x plus 21 equals uh, 0. Equal, oh, this is the function. y equals this. Now x equals 0 plug in, so y equals 8 times 21 equals 7, so e a equals 1 third. So your function is going to be y equals 1 third of x squared minus 10x plus 21. Okay. Simplify your answer, it's going to be y equals 1 third x squared minus 10 over 3x plus 7. Okay, so this is going to be your expression. So fx to simplify it takes a long time to type in everything. One third of x squared um, minus ten over three x plus seven. Uh, solving the inequality by using graphing method. So 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 is bigger than or equal to 0. Um, well, you can use the graphing, that is as graphing method. You, you can solve this, basically you can graph it. You can graph this, um, you can graph, you can graph y equals 2x squared minus 3x and then see with a the picture and to find out way, when it is going to be bigger than or equal to 2. Or what you do is solve this one. So it's 2 uh, x x factor minus 
plus 1 minus 2 cross multiply 4x negative 4x plus x which is negative 3x which is right and in fact there's 2x plus 1 x minus 2 which is bigger than equal to 0 now you factor this one you solve x equals negative 1 half you solve x equals positive 2 now what do you have you got negative 1 half and a positive 2 so you you do that is plus minus plus you draw the picture of this okay start from right to left and then the left is positive it's bigger than or equal to zero so the answer is going to be negative infinity to negative one half union two to positive infinity okay using the uh, interval session I don't want to use that on my Okay, so I'm typing this one in again. I don't want to use because this is um, the bad thing about this software is I have to negative infinity to negative one half negative one divided by two. And the print and brackets and union brackets to to infinity and brackets. Okay, so this is how you work this one. Number twelve. Reset button in up corner show that and the click time play button and the graph use the slide maximum height of the baseball. Okay, I cannot see the picture from here, so I will not be able to do it. And uh, you have to install the software to see it. Um, because in this tablet, I don't have that CDF player. You have to install the CDF player. I think most of you should have it, um, install this software to be able to see it. And uh, the good thing about this, I can tell the right answer. I just guess two, two feet, that's right. Oh, x equals 2. Okay. So I don't know what is next. The height? Where's the height? 100? Oh, that's just... I didn't know that. I didn't know that this works. Oh my gosh. So it says 100. I just type in 100. Okay. That's just amazing thing. I just guess t equals 2 and the height equals 100. But why is that, that? Oh, because I think there's 100 here. You can see that... 10, 5, 10, 20, 80, 19, 100. And this is 2. That's why. I didn't do it from this way, but just the random guess two numbers, and this is right. Okay. Alright, just from the picture, you can see that x equals 2, y goes to 100. Three digits there. Okay, so you probably can see that um, very small one. This one, I don't even to have to see the picture. And uh, hold on, what are the coordinates of the vertex? So vertex is negative 2 and uh, 4. Whenever that makes the two the square zero, so the vertex is negative two, four. This is pretty straightforward. Oh, number forty. Sorry, number fourteen. That's the last one. And does it give you anything? This is a bigger than zero. If that function is right, so a is bigger than zero. Wait. So it's a is less than zero, but um, I guess if you a, you click a picture, it has to be this. Okay, a bigger than zero. Function vertex. Hold on, the all keys check the and use the analysis graph is when the function has the third or fourth quadrant of no x. Oh, the f when the function has the vertex in the third fourth quadrant. Oh, so that's that's right. And this is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant, this is the fourth quadrant. So only in this two quadrant, and it doesn't go up, it does not have x-intercept. So only here, if you go this way, it must go first, uh, if you go up, it must pass the first two quadrant. It has to go down, so it has to be less than zero. That's why. Okay.